Hi, welcome back to the Recap Room. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a movie based on real events titled Midway. Be warned, this video contains spoilers. In Tokyo 1937, Lieutenant Commander Edward Layton is in a state function with the British and Japanese empires. After the dinner, Admiral Hirosoku Yamamoto meets with Commander Lieutenant Layton to express how Japan is eager to become a world power and that most of their oil supply is from the USA and warns him that if the supply is compromised in any way, they will take drastic measures. Four years later, Japan and China are at war and Hitler attacked Europe. The US remained neutral. Meanwhile, a few miles away from Pearl Harbor, while coming back from a routine exercise, Pilot Dick Best and his radio man James Murray perform a stunt by landing their aircraft with the flaps closed, which causes an unsteady landing. His friend Dickinson tells Best that their commanding officer isn't happy with the stunt he just pulled and introduces him to Miller, a radio man who has never crashed in his class and asks Best to take care of him as it was his last sea duty. The scene changes to Pearl Harbor and the USS Arizona, where Lieutenant Roy and his crewmates are preparing for a church service on the deck when there is a surprise attack by the Japanese fleet. In his home, Lieutenant Commander Layton hears about the ambush and rushes to the office. Pilot Lieutenant Dixon and his radio man Miller are on a scouting mission when they are attacked by the Japanese aircraft. Miller takes down an enemy plane and receives fire and is killed immediately. Their plane gets hit and Dickinson ejects from the plane. At the same time, the USS Arizona gets bombed and Lieutenant Roy saves a crewmate, Sully, from getting killed. He orders him to escape the burning ship to another ship by a rope. He strikes down a Japanese aircraft but dies from the explosion in Arizona. Pearl Harbor gets bombed and Lieutenant Commander Layton barely manages to arrive at the office where he's told that he was right when he had previously told them about the warning from Admiral Izoroku. Commander Halsey tries to locate the Japanese fleet so that they can launch a counterattack. He sends the aircraft to the south, thinking the Japanese are there, but upon finding no one over there, they realize the Japanese are actually in the north. They return to Pearl Harbor and see the destruction caused by the Japanese. Dick Best tries to find his friend Lieutenant Roy and instead finds his scorched body and retrieves his ring and watch as a memento for his wife. The USA then declare that they are at war with the Japanese, entering World War II. In Japan, Admiral Yamamoto meets with another admiral and he hears about how Vice Admiral Nagumo hadn't destroyed the oil tankers of US aircraft carriers. If he had done so, it would have caused them immense loss and would have given Japan an upper hand. To further their agendas, they plan to destroy the aircraft carriers of the US. Back in America, Admiral Chester Nimitz is summoned to Washington by the President and is appointed as the new commander of the US Navy to command the operations of the war. After the funeral of all the officers, the rest of the officers drink at the bar, reminiscing about Roy. While walking back, drunk Best and Dixon see Nimitz going in his car. Best shouts at him about when they will get back at the Japanese. Back at the headquarters, Layton welcomes Nimitz who asks to be reassigned to a destroyer. Nimitz realizes Layton's capabilities as the intelligence officer and he had been warned about being careful against an impeding attack by the Japanese. Nimitz wants to raise the morale of the US Navy by hitting back at the Japanese and asks Layton to predict Yamamoto's move so that their Navy is assured that attacking the Marshall Island won't send them into a trap. In February 1942, McCluskey and Halsey direct a raid from the Enterprise and the Marshall Islands. The Japanese fleet fights back, equally strong. Mid-flight, Dickinson realizes there's another enemy airfield on the other side, with approximately 30 bombers and if they don't deal with them, they will attack the Enterprise. Best changes direction to deal with them. He dives towards the airfield and just before they hit the ground, he realizes a torpedo and flies away, landing a heavy blow. After the raid, while everyone's on board the Enterprise, the Japanese Air Force launches another surprise attack. While one of the aircraft tries to crash into the Enterprise, aviation mechanist third class Bruno Gaido saves the day by destroying the incoming aircraft and crashing it into the ocean. For this brave act, he gets promoted to first class. The next day, in Hawaii, Best attends an officer's party with his wife, where she meets McCluskey, 
and asks why her husband hasn't been promoted. He tells her Best doesn't understand the gravity of the war. Back home, Best puts his daughter to bed and is reluctant to leave her. In April, Lieutenant Colonel Dolittle and his team of army bombers are aboard a plane carrier near the Enterprise. They plan to bomb Tokyo, the capital of Japan, and land in Free China. They fly out during a heavy rainstorm and bomb Tokyo. Their planes run out of fuel and they jump out, landing in a Chinese village that has been occupied by the Japanese. A school teacher helps translate what Dolittle has to say and saves him from getting killed by armed civilians. As he is leaving for Kusho, a Japanese fighter plane attacks the village out of nowhere, killing innocent civilians. In Hiroshima Bay, Yamamoto is saddened by the attack on Tokyo and says he is at fault for putting his emperor life at risk. One of his men comes to tell him the superiors have agreed to his plan midway about destroying the plane carriers of the US Navy. Back at the headquarters, Leighton has told Nimitz that the Japanese might be trying to attack the Coral Sea, trying to break their lifeline with Australia. Nimitz orders Helsi to take Enterprise and quickly join the other carriers at the Coral Sea to fight against the Japanese. Leighton also says they have a theory that the Japanese have another target in mind and the Coral Sea might just be a distraction. Enterprise is laid and one of the carriers is destroyed, leaving only Yorktown and Enterprise, just two carriers in the Pacific. Yamamoto enters a war meeting where Nagumo and another commanding officer are arguing about their strategy to attack the US. Yamamoto tells them to reset the simulation and leaves. Then, at Pearl Harbor, Nimitz tells Leighton that the Washington intelligence believes that Leighton's theory about Japan's plan midway might be false. Leighton tries to persuade Nimitz that his analysis couldn't be wrong because attacking midway would lead them closer to Hawaii and the west coast. Nimitz goes to meet the cryptanalysis Joseph, who Leighton says is very particular about doing his job and was the one who had made this theory. Joseph Roquefort says that they believe codename AF is Japan's target midway. Washington believes that AF is in the South Pacific whereas Joseph and their team believe that Washington is wrong. They, at last, manage to persuade Nimitz, who says they now need to persuade Washington so that they can withdraw Enterprise to Pearl Harbor. Nimitz sends a secret message to Halsey to get sighted by Japan, which would result in Washington getting the Enterprise out of the Coral Sea and to Pearl Harbor. In May of 1942, Best briefs his team as the leader of the bomber squad. A rookie, Willie, approaches him and tells him about his fears and low confidence. Best motivates him and makes him his wingman. While taking off for a scouting mission, Best's plane encounters a problem and before he could warn the other planes, Wiley takes off after him but crashes into the water and is crushed by the Enterprise. Nimitz arrives at the Enterprise and meets Helsey, who has a terrible rash and is ordered to go to the hospital. Back home, Best shares his worries with his wife Anne and says leading men is different and he is responsible for all of them and is worried about what he will say to them. Anne says he just needs to be honest with them and be himself. Yorktown gets hit by a bomb and needs severe repairs. Nimitz orders the repairs to be finished in 72 hours. While Helsey has been dismissed because of shingles, Admiral Sprance has taken up command. Nimitz, Leighton, and other high-ranking officials meet to plan a trap for the Japanese at the midway point. Leighton assures everyone that they know of the exact time and location of Japan's attack at midway. Later, on the Enterprise, McCluskey, Best, and a few other officers discuss the upcoming battle. After the meeting, Best comes to McCluskey for advice on how to lead his men, who tell him to ready his men for the battle the next day and to bring back as many alive as possible. Dickinson interrupts to say a ship has been sighted, Everyone gathers on the decks, only to realize that it is Yorktown. This increases everyone's morale for the upcoming battle. The next day, at breakfast, Best motivates his men. At 6.40, the Japanese air group attacks the Midway base. A US aircraft spots the enemy fleet, and the Midway Island air group is ordered by Nimitz to attack the fleet. Although the men of Midway had come prepare, they couldn't destroy all of the Japanese ships. On the other hand, as the planes on Enterprise are trying to take off, they get spotted by the Japanese pilot who discloses their location to his superiors. This forces the Japanese to change their course and attack the American fleet, thus falling into Nimitz's trap. A USS submarine spots the Japanese carrier, but their torpedoes miss the target. 
the planes at the Enterprise finally take off. Best realizes his oxygen has a problem, and he starts coughing badly, but still follows his team. McCloskey and his team don't encounter any Japanese ships, and they think that the Japanese may have changed directions. McCloskey realizes their planes might run out of fuel soon, but then spots an enemy destroyer going at full speed. His and Best squadron follows the destroyer, hoping it might lead them to the Japanese carriers. The Hornet squadron initiates an attack on the Japanese fleet, but they are annihilated. The Japanese say that a carrier must be nearby, since they are flying too low. Best and McCloskey finally find the Japanese carriers. Best and Dickinson manage to destroy three carriers and barely manage to survive. Yamamoto receives the news about this and realizes that the Americans know about their plan to attack Midway. Best and the rest of the squadron return to the Enterprise to refuel. They leave once again, and Best manages to bomb the rest of the enemy carriers, getting his revenge for Pearl Harbor. Yamamoto accepts defeat, and the Japanese retreat, signaling the US to be victorious. That's it for the recap. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our uploads.